Hi uh, guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this tutorial we'll be covering how to create a grass clump or patch within speech from creating the textures to scattering different versions of it from A to Z. So without any further you guys, let's dive in. So within speech here, let's right click in the scene. Let's add our trunk. Let's go into the tree and let's take the scale down to 0.2. So let's select a trunk. Let's take this down to about a length of three. In the skin tab, let's take the skin value down. Let's enlarge this a little bit. Let's select the trunk. Right click in your scene. Let's zoom all. So we are a bit closer to the, to the grass patch. Okay, in the spine, let's select this. Let's amend the size a bit. Something like this, go into the shape. Leave this to default. And in the radius of the skin, let's take down the bottom part, all right? So let's select this again, right click, let's go and zoom selected. Go into the render view and let's select scribe so we can see the sequence pool because we'll be giving it some kinks to it. All right, so as you can see, we can increase the kink amount. Let's increase the subdivisions to something like this, not too heavy because we want to be poly conscious about how many polygons will because this thing will be scattered 100 million times. So let's select that. Okay, so now let's add our branches to this let's decrease the amount let's set this to interval let's set this to two let's increase this amount to 10 increase till we have some something like this and let's spread them out and in the generation tab let's scroll down to extend parent and let's set this to any so you have one at the top all right so now let's get to over to the skin tab and let's set the type to spline only because we'll be using fronds to create the flat leaves or grass blades. All right, so let's select those. Right click, let's add front. As you can see, we have our fronds there. Let's go over to geometry and scroll down into the boundary where it says end and start. Let's decrease the start so it starts from, from the very point. Okay, and let's go down to the width. So we can play with the width, something like this. And in the blue curve, we'll be shaping this, the, the, the shape of the blades. Double click here to add another point. So let's go back to the, the branch or the stems of the uh, grass blades. Let's select those. Let's go over into the segments. Let's disable the optimization and let's decrease the amount. So the front system is dependent on your first set of segments so the less um, polygons you want in your your grass blade the less you make it so let's put this to about something 2.1 something like this and let's decrease the let's go over to the front let's decrease that ratio over there let's go down let's go to the segments and let's decrease this amount let's take it down to two to the spine tab and let's increase the the light noise and let's go into the trunk and increase the light noise to that as well and decrease the increase the turbulence and just decrease that amount let's go back into the front system in the genometry tab let's scroll down to the blue shape let's double click here and add another point to this all right so now we have our base structure that will be scattering in this disk so let's go to, over to the generation tab and let's give this a spiral something like this let's deselect and let's go to the view and set this to standard so let's quickly create the shaders for the grass blades and the grass stem so over to materials hit the plus and minus icon let's add new select that rename this to grass blades okay and let's create another one and let's call this uh grass stem there we go so let's select that okay Let's first amend the cross blade. So let's select the color and let's select this one. Cancel and let's use the the gradient within Speech Tree itself. Let's select the black part and let's select a green that you would like to use. And let's take the top one, select it to a more lighter color like this. So let's take that and add it to our fronts while it's disappearing. So we need to go back to the settings and enable to side of material. Let's go back to the verification and in the spine, let's decrease the late noise to something like this. All right, let's select the cross stem. Let's create the same texture again. Go over to linear gradient. Let's select this. Select the green you want to use. Let's go over to the white and let's select a suitable green for this as well. Let's add that to the trunk and replace that material. 
Okay, so now let's hone over to the fronts. Let's give them some curl and fold value. So let's fold them a bit, something like this, and let's call them. Let's give the bottom ones as in the beautification stem. Let's give them some more gravity and let's decrease the top part like so. All right. So now our grass blade is almost done. Let's just amend the trunk UVs. So let's go over to the UV tab and let's just enable fractional. Let's decrease this amount to 0.1 and let's set the V to relative and so on. So let's duplicate this now. Let's go over to the generation of the trunk. Let's increase this amount to something like 250. That is not what we're looking for. So let's to fix this, let's increase the last in the boundaries in the generation tab. Let's increase this something like that let's decrease this amount to 100 and while we're here let's go into the spine and de decrease the spine value let's not make this so uniform so let's go over to the spine let's increase the angle amount let's go over to the green curve and decrease the like so and increase the one in the middle and let's give this some gravity upwards and let's go over to the spine in the length absolute let's amend this as well and let's give some variance to this Okay, so let's go back into the trunk, into the generation tab, and let's increase this amount to 180. Depending on how thick you want this grass clump to be, it's all personal preference now at this point. So in the grass blade, you can add a little variant amount, something like this. I mean, the colors to suit your needs or the reference photo you are working from, something like this. So now the next step will be, let's to add the, let's say the grass seeds, Okay, so let's go back and let's add a, another trunk system. So for sake of this tutorial, just, just copy this, paste this in, let's add that, give it some more length. Let's decrease the amount to something like eight. Let's go into the spine tab and let's decrease the late noise, 0.2. Let's go into the generation tab and decrease the last amount. So it's somewhere here. In the spine tab, let's adjust the angle and let's go Let's zoom in and let's select the skin and amend the skin top part. Double click here and let's make it smaller. I'm just disappearing. Let's select these and let's add batched leaves to them. In the skin tab, let's select those and take this down to 0.2. Very small stuff. Maybe increase this just a little bit. Go into the orientation. Let's give this some sky influence. In the generation tab, let's increase this value to, for now, let's just increase this to about 100 so we can see them. In the first and last, let's increase the last. So it's just at the top points. And let's amend the angle to suit. So in the orientation, let's go to the upward force. Let's increase that. In the green curve, let's amend this so that the bottom part doesn't roll that much up. So let's create the leaf or the beige color leaves for these seeds. So let's select the material. Let's create a material. Let's just rename this to seed. And in the seed, let's select just a grayish beige color. Let's go into the cutouts mesh and let's add a mesh for this. This doesn't have to be anything like poly. It's just to simulate that seedlings there. So let's add a point over here, one over there, one over there, and one here as well. Select this part, something like we'll do. Let's add some points in the middle, not too much. Let's add this to the high. You can go ahead and make some low poly ones as well. It's not needed for this. So after this, let's select done. In the materials, let's add this to our batch leaves. So uh, yet again, let's select settings at two sided. Let's give this some glossiness and within the leaf let's select the leaf and let's add some curl value to this as well so let's curl them upwards and in the skin tab let's decrease the size amount for the top ones and let's go back into the orientation and let's decrease the top ones as well so they don't intersect that much and in the skin tab let's give this some random values as well back into the skin tab in the orientation let's give this random values here Let's scroll down and give this a fold. Because that doesn't have to be very high detailed because you won't be rendering this close to it. If you're rendering this close to it, I advise you to create a more polydense version of this. So now all we need to do is we need to add some few grass blades to this as well. So we already did the work down below for the grass. So let's select these two, control C, control V. Let's paste this on this trunk. Obviously that is way too much. So let's select those and we don't want them to grow down below. So let's get over to the generation tab and let's increase this amount. So they're just on top of the grass. Let's decrease the top one. 
Let's go into the where it says extend parent to any. Let's deactivate it to none. And in the spine tab, let's decrease the amount. And in the spine tab, let's decrease the amount at the top. So it will look something like this. Let's decrease the amount in the generation tab. It is something like 20. Let's move this down to the generation tab. Let's the position. Let's move them down to somewhere. So now it's easily adjustable. You can create different versions. You can hide this so you only have the grass or you can reinvent those and so on. So guys, that is it for this tutorial. If you find this tutorial informative, leave a like and a comment down below. I would much appreciate that. And uh, if you want to see something else, send me a message and I'll make that video happen. If you want to see some other videos that we did, check out these videos here at the top. And uh, stay safe and take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.